Hey guys, Jason here. Welcome to episode number seven of my Metal Riff series. Today we're going to be talking about how to integrate hammer-ons and pull-offs into your metal rhythms. So let's bring it in a little closer and stay tuned. I have some really cool updates and I'm also going to be doing a beer tasting after the lesson. So first let's go through the lesson and we'll talk about the good stuff. some other chords around that riff and there was no tablature that's because uh, it's just because I was too lazy to tab it all out <laughs> no but the real reason is well that's kind of the real reason but second to that I wanted you not only just to learn the riff but I also wanted you to hear that riff integrated in with a full rhythm piece a lot of times we'll learn a technique or we'll learn you know parts of a riff or, or a small portion of a song but we'll often wonder, okay, well, I can do that, but what comes after that? What do I do next? How do I integrate this in, in writing a full song? So I wanted you to hear that with some other chords surrounding it. So learn this, learn it note for note, and feel free to expand on it. That's what I always share with you guys. You know, please expand on these. Don't just learn, you know, learn it note for note in the beginning, but, but don't just stop there, right? Expand on it. Uh, mess around with some uh, some other hammer-ons in other areas, you know, experiment a little with it and then throw in some other chords after that, kind of like what you heard me do in the beginning there. You know, throw in some other stuff, just keep trying things and, and you'll come up with something that sounds really cool. So, on to some updates. Real quick, before I get into my beer tasting, which I have a really good beer to taste today, um, album update. So, I've been working on Heavy Metal Workout 2 for a long time now it is complete. I think it was completed as of July something. Um, oh, we're in July now. Actually, it was completed in June. Uh, we're in July 2017. So it's in the mastering phase as we speak. I will be releasing the album in August. I know I keep pushing this up, guys, and I apologize for that, but I'm, I'm working on actually an actual book to go with the album. Now, whether I finish the book or not, you know, in the time frame that I have, I'm still going to release Heavy Metal Workout Part 2 in August. So it'll either be the album and the book, or it'll be the album and the book will come a month or two later. So anyway, let's get to the beer tasting here. I have a beer from the country Laos, which is neighboring to Thailand, and the brewery is called Beer Lao. And this is their dark lager. Now, Beer Lao, is that the name of the brewery or just the name of the beer? Lao Brewery Company, actually I'm sorry, Lao Brewery, brewery Company is the name of the brewery and Beer Lao is the name of the beer, so. Anyway, this is the first rice-based beer that I've ever had. And I've had their regular lager, which is good, it's on the lighter side of course, um, but this dark lager really, really impressed me. I don't have a glass and you guys beat me up sometimes for that, but Speaking of lazy, I'm too lazy to go downstairs and get a glass. I forgot to bring it up, so. Anyway, let's try it. Mmm, very tasty. 
Now, this beer is at room temperature because it's been sitting up here for a while. I've had to do several takes on this video for some reason. This is like my 12th beer tasting take, which is why it's like down to here. <laughs> anyway, so the alcohol content is a bit higher than most lagers. It's at 6.5%. But guys, a beer loud dark lager, if you like lagers and you like dark beers, you're probably going to love this. Again, it's the first rice-based beer I've ever had. And it's very, very, very tasty. And it's kind of hard to find. Um, and I had never actually seen this before. It just showed up at the uh, Oriental Market where, where we shop a lot one day. And I'm like, hmm, I'll give it a try. Glad I did. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's guitar lesson. And uh, as always, keep it metal. Yeah.